Hey there, productivity enthusiast. I'm Marco and I welcome you to my new channel and also my very first YouTube video. On this channel, we dive into the world of productivity and PKM with insightful tips to supercharge your efficiency and tips on how to make the most of productivity apps. Today, I want to introduce you with a game-changing tool that's going to revolutionize the way you take notes and organize your thoughts, Obsidian. Obsidian is not just another note-taking app. It's a powerful, dynamic, and interconnected digital workspace for your ideas. Imagine having all your notes, ideas, and references linked together in a web of knowledge. In this video, we will create an Obsidian vault from scratch, and we will take a look to the basics. In the future videos, we will continue to work together on this vault step-by-step, step, adding new features and discovering new plugins. So, without further ado, let's jump into Obsidian. The first step is to download Obsidian, and you can do this by visiting the Obsidian website at obsidian.md. I will leave the link in the description down below. Once you are here, you just need to click on download. And as you can see, you can download Obsidian for iOS, Android, Windows, Mac, Linux. So just choose the, the version that is suitable for your operating system and download it. Once the download is complete, just click on the file and start the installation process by following the on-screen instructions. It's a straightforward process like installing any other software. Once Obsidian is installed, open it and you will see a window like this. Obsidian uses a folder-based system to store your notes. It's different from cloud-based note-taking apps, which means your notes are stored locally on your computer for more privacy and control. And when you first open Obsidian, you will be prompted to create a new vault. Think of a vault as a container for all of your notes. And you can create a new one by clicking on Quick Start. And by clicking on Quick Start, Obsidian will automatically create a new vault inside the Documents folder of your computer or you can create a new one from scratch, or just select an existing folder on your computer to serve as your vault. Or you can open a vault from Obsidian Sync, but we will see Obsidian Sync in a future video, so for now I will just skip. So we will create a new vault so we can start from scratch together. So I click on Create. I choose a name for my vault. I will call it YouTube vault and i choose a location so i will just put it into my desktop and i will click on create and here we go we have our vault and as you can see the vault is just a folder on our pc okay now that we have our vault set up we are ready to start taking notes in obsidian and to do that we just need to create our first note. And you can create a new note by clicking here on create new file. First note. And you can see our note here on the left. Or you can use your shortcut, Ctrl plus N or Command plus N if you are using Mac OS. And we have the second note here. Or you can click on the top left button here, new note. And we have the third note. You can also create folders. And to do that, you just need to click here on the top left corner, new folder button. And this is the folder. And if you right click on the folder, you can create a note inside the folder. So if you click here on new notes, notes in the folder. And if you open the folder, you can see the note is inside it, okay? All of these files that we have created, you can find them here on your computer, inside the, the vault uh, folder. And you can see here first note, second note, third note. You can see the folder that we created. And if you open it, you can see the note in the folder. Now, all of these files, are a markdown file. Markdown is a lightweight markup language for formatting text, so we can easily add links, headings, uh, lists, tables to our notes. 
Now that you know how to create nodes, it's time to introduce you to one of the most powerful features of Obsidian, links and backlinks. Links in Obsidian are like the connective tissue of your node. So before creating a link, uh, let's write something inside our nodes. So uh, this is a node in a folder. Uh, we can write here, this is our first node. This is the second node. And this is the last node. Okay, so to create a link, you just need to wrap the name of the target node in double bracket. So, for example, we want to link the node in the folder with the first node. We can write something like our first node is double bracket, first node. Now, if you push control and you mouse over uh, here on the name of the node, you can see a preview of the node. And if you push your control and click on the node, Obsidian will open the node in a new tab and you just created your first link. Now, links are the foundation of Obsidian. Uh, they help you connect ideas, topics, thoughts in a non-linear way. Uh, they are not isolated. They are part of a web of interconnected knowledge, okay? That's the power of Obsidian. Now let's talk about backlinks, because when you create a link to a node, uh, that node becomes aware of all the other nodes linking to it. And this creates a network of backlinks that shows you how your nodes are connected. The power of backlinks is immense. They help you to see context around the node, helping you to discover relationships you might have missed. So make sure you have the core plugin enabled. And to do that, you just need to go here on settings, core plugins, backlinks, make sure this is activated. And you can decide to show backlinks uh, in document or on a separate window that I will show you because I prefer to have them separated from the document. So if you expand here, you can see links and backlinks, outgoing links and the backlinks here. Now, here, the note in the folder has an outgoing link to the first note. And here we go. If you click here on the first note, the first note has no outgoing links. In fact, you don't see any link here. But if you go here on backlinks, you can see that the first node is mentioned into the node in the folder. And if you click here, you go back in node in the folder. This is the power of links and backlinks. You can easily jump from a node to another by click on the link. The last thing I want to show you is the graph view that allows you to visualize the relationships between your nodes. And to open it, you just need to click here on the open graph view on the left. And here you can see all the nodes inside your vault and all the connections between them. Now, I personally don't use this graph so much, but I really like to use the local graph view. So let's go back to our nodes. And here to open your local graph view, you can click here on the open command palette or with the shortcut Control P or Command P and search for local graph. You open it and you can drag and drop it on the right so you can open it whenever you want. And as you can see, I can easily see the nodes connected to the node I'm working on. So I can see that the node in the folder is linked to the first node. Now, one thing that I like to see is the direction of the relationship. So if you go under display, you can enable arrows. And if you do that, you can see the arrow here from node in the folder to first node. And if I click here on first node, I will jump in the node. 
and if I want to go back to the node in the folder, I just go back in the node. Now, let's say that I want to link this node with the third node. This is the third node, double brackets, third node. And here we go. And now you have two links inside the node in the folder. And I can easily go here in the third node and go back in node in the folder. As you can see, if I am in third node, I don't see the first node because the first node is linked to node in the folder and not with the third node. And there you have it, the very first introduction to setting up your first Obsidian Vault. Now you know how to create folders, nodes, and how to link nodes between them and see this connection. But remember, this is just the beginning. In the next video, we will cover Obsidian Canvas, an excellent tool for note taking that condense complex information into digestible diagrams and visual aids. Before you go, if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know if you are already using Obsidian or if you would like to give it a try. And if you have any questions, just please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and happy note taking with Obsidian.